Hi folks, welcome to the Cannabis Corner. I'm your host, Kerry Burns. The purpose of the Cannabis Corner when I first started this was just to be an educational type program to really bring out facts to the people who don't already use cannabis. All of the viewers out there that smoke cannabis and stuff and watch the videos, it's very easy for y'all to relate to the information and stuff that we put out. But the people out there who don't use cannabis for whatever reason in their lives, sometimes the information doesn't quite make its point across. And so uh, when I'm out and talking to people and stuff, and I'll always try to to keep the movement in mind. And if I hear people erroneously talking or if they say something wrong or bad about cannabis and stuff, I try to in some way educate them to, you know, show them the error of their ways, if you will. And this is a very, this is probably the hardest uh, part to get over with when you're when you're trying to get a substance like cannabis legal is the layers and layers upon layers of brainwashing that the people like that that you're trying to talk to have been exposed to over the years. I mean, even way before the Controlled Substance Act, years before the Marijuana Tax Act even happened, the brainwashing started. And each decade, it seems like that it just got worse and worse. They'd pile more and more on, more and more on. I mean, we went from being, you know, uh, raping blacks to migrant Mexicans in the southwest border all the way to hippies in the 60s and today they call us terrorists. I mean it they just go from one extreme to the other to try to to uh, just constantly keep up the brainwashing about how bad cannabis is and how we as a society should undertake the measures that the DEA does on a daily day-to-day -day basis and this is wrong and the people who use cannabis and have used it for a long time or most of their adult lives like like myself they understand that, that that these types of things are mainly due to misinformation and when you brainwash people in mass brainwashing you you come up with a bunch of lies i mean if you can tell one good lie you're going to come up with 10 or 15 or 20 more and usually in the case of cannabis when you read anything that the government's put out or any type of propaganda it's all bunch a bunch of lies even when you look at the controlled substance act and how they wrote in the particular part that deals with cannabis or marijuana as they call it in the controlled substance act i mean the the literature itself we have the attorney general of the united states has the power to remove cannabis from the controlled substance or move it to another uh, level if he so desires and he he there's a place in process to do that the human health services director she's also has the ability to do this and of course when she submits a petition for something like that it has to be uh, gone through this rigorous scientific and medical evaluation and of course the, that's their favorite excuse is that they never have these this type of information for cannabis we don't have the scientific and medical evaluation going well this is wrong we've had 15 to 20 years at least of medical and scientific evaluation of cannabis it's just that it's never seems to be able to be brought forth when any type any of these petitions are brought forth or somebody's trying to change the scheduling or like me trying to get it completely off controlled substances altogether this this plant this is a plant people it's it's like we've gate we've we've taken this war on this species of plant and we're doing our best to make it extinct and and that would be a real tragedy because this plant is quite unique when you look at all the plants in the world. There's very few that offer what this one offers. And, and I mean, it offers it in abundance and it grows in many, many different types of regions, different types of environments and stuff. And so we, we have a, we, you'd think it would be cut and dry. You know, it's a, it's a plant, it's an herb. I mean, we can use this. It has, you know, lots of benefit to us. And you wouldn't think that people like me even had to have a show like this to try to convince the people who weren't using it that, hey, this is a good thing. But, but unfortunately in our society, they've taken this uh, attempt to bastardize this plant to really just, you know, make it seem like it's the most evil thing on the planet. And when, quite the opposite is true. I mean, when you look at the, all the people that are taking prescription drugs out there from, for whatever, I mean, there are cases where people are taking 15, 20, 25 pills in a day and their health isn't improving. They're, they're actually bringing their in, 
uh, around a lot faster. And these people could be using cannabis for those medicinal replacements and they wouldn't have these problems of, of debilitatory effects that you get from prescription drugs. You don't get the debilitation when you use cannabis over long term. It just doesn't happen. It's a natural product. It works with the body. We have natural receptor sites in our brain that are specific for THC. Nothing else in the world bonds to these sites except the THC molecules. So when you when you look at the fact that we have, you know, natural receptors in our body and this is a natural plant, it's just kind of hard to understand why people have such a tough time grasping the benefits of it and, and what it could be doing for our society. And the fact that we spend all this money on law enforcement and ruining people's lives, people that all, of, all they did basically was choose a safe herb over going the conventional route of what their, forf their, their parents and grandparents ahead of them that were all into alcohol and prescription drugs as they became in style here in the, you know, the latter part of the, 20, the 21st century around 1990 and all that. Prescription drugs were just going crazy and even today they're, they're so prevalent and you know, people that choose to use cannabis, they're, they're actually taking the safe route. You know, the alcohol, the cigarettes, the prescription drugs, look at the statistics on those and the amount of people that die. We're really, basically, the cannabis smoker is just taking a safe route, something that he chooses for himself because he knows from his experience that it is the safest. And the fact that we could have any laws against something like that is unbelievable. And the fact that, that it so goes against our Constitution, that the laws that they have in place today are so against our Constitution, they were all formed illegally. None of, none of the rights and rules of the Constitution were followed in any of the proceedings that they came about with. And, and even when they tried to form a marijuana commission before the Controlled Substances Act was formed, the commission itself said, you don't need to have cannabis on the controlled substance. But Nixon didn't listen. And to throw it in everybody's face, what do they do? They put it on the most severe schedule out there. And, uh, and that's where we are today. And the people out there that all you can say, it, it isn't, it's, it's ill, but it's illegal. Think about all the millions of lives out there that have been ruined because they chose to use a safer, ver safer herb. Think of all the drug cartels that have formed because we have to have this war on drugs. That's what creates all the violence. It's what creates the gangs. When you have an illegal substance, it's, it's no different than the Al Capone days of the Roaring Twenties when, all, when they made alcohol illegal. This is no different. And it's, it's just amazing that we have to have these type of programs to convince people because the, the, the plant itself, it shows every day how beneficial it is in, in so many ways. And when people just turn a blind eye to it, 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 it's just amazing to me. I mean, if you're walking down the street and you see somebody laying in the road there that needs help and all, do you just walk across and step on them and just go on because it just doesn't concern you? That's, that's how people have this attitude toward the cannabis plant. And we, we hope that will change. And hopefully through education, we hope we can educate people to make them understand we're holding up a trillion dollar industry because we're worried about people getting high on cannabis. And the fact that they're getting high, they're not hurting anybody. They're not going out doing crime, anything like that. So let's, let's get on the bandwagon, people. This is something that that is just insane. It's been insane since the days of its conception and it's done nothing but grow ast astronomically when, after the DEA was formed. And this is their job. Their job depends on this substance staying illegal. And that's why they are so hell bent to fight against it. So let's stand up as Americans. It is our constitutional right. It's our individual right. And let's stand up to them and, and demand that this, that this plant be taken off of the controlled substances list completely. And I thank you for joining us on the Cannabis Corner.